Hey everybody, welcome back. So if you're a new prepper, you're just getting started, and you want to start stocking your pantry with some good stuff, local dollar stores are sometimes a good place to look. Today I'm going to show you a haul and explain to you what you want to look for when you start prepping in your local dollar stores. Let's get started. All right, folks, welcome back. Now, I know that we have a lot of new preppers on the channel. I get a lot of questions over on Facebook from you guys, and uh, some of the questions have been, where do I get started? And I know I've shown a lot of uh, freeze-dried food on the channel. I know that stuff is just out of reach for a lot of people. So you don't have to sit around and save your pennies until you can afford it, okay? What you can do now is start prepping, but you may not know what to get when you go to your local dollar store or even your local grocery store. So what I did today was about a $36 haul from our local Dollar Tree. Because it's now a buck and a quarter tree, it's gone up a little bit. Um, I used to do $25 and $20 hauls, but I wanted to show you now our Dollar Tree has not recovered from COVID yet. It's still very, very low stock. Um, what used to be an entire aisle of food now is like a quarter of the aisle. And it's really, really not as good as it used to be. But I do have some good things here and good different solutions for you. on uh, Some of the things you can look for, no matter how stocked or unstocked your Dollar Tree is. And it doesn't have to be a Dollar Tree. It could be any dollar store, Dollar General, Family Dollar, any of those places. Now, why do I think this is important? Well, we're experiencing some, some similar events right now to what happened before the Great Depression. Okay? And we're only seeing things get worse. We're watching banks fail. We're watching lawlessness in our cities. We're watching unrest. We're watching possible world wars go on. So it's only going to get worse from here at this point. You know, there's not there's not really much hope on the horizon yet. And I hate to be a doomer about it, but if you watch the news and you see what's going on, you kind of kind of feel you'd feel a little better with some preps to put away. And usually, where people start is with food. Now, of course, there's tons more other things to prep for. There's water, which I always tell people do that first. Medical, uh, self defense power uh, we had a generator or solar generator and then you get into the more esoteric things like night vision and ham radio and all that other stuff and that comes way down the road but if you're just getting started and you want to start out here are some of the things that you should look for when you're shopping for storage pantry food okay first thing long shelf life you're never going to match the same kind of 20 or 30 year shelf life of freeze dried food or even the five to eight year shelf life of mres but you still want to be smart about picking out durable products so you'd want to try to avoid things that don't last at least a year. Um, if you get something that you know is going to go bad in six months, not worth it. Okay. Second, easy to store. You want durable packaging. Okay. And if it's not durable, well, yesterday I showed you a way to seal things up so it is durable. But you want durable packaging like a can or a box. It's much better than the kind of packaging you find with, say, potato chips. All right. And food that needs to be cold or frozen isn't automatically disqualified. But you do want to be careful about relying too much on power, on electricity, because the grid may go down as well. Now, if you're an advanced prepper and you have a backup power station or a generator and you're ready to go, hey, more power to you. I'm telling you right now, I got a solar backup, you know, for my freezer here and my refrigerator. I know they could run pretty much indefinitely with the power that I have and the solar panels on the side of my roof here. So, yeah, you can do that, but it's kind, of, it's kind of going to depend on how much you have as far as backup power when it comes to freezing food. Next up, easy to prepare. In any kind of emergency, when you're relying on this kind of food, you may not have utilities or other stuff that makes cooking easier. So I like to favor foods that can be eaten as is and only need maybe basic reheating or rehydrating. It's easy to mix and match with other ingredients as well. Something like the difference between, say regular rice that needs to be boiled and those rices in the corner which i'll show you when we show you what i picked up um, that's ready to go you could just put that over a bonfire with a little bit of water in it and heat it up and it'd be fine so i favor those kind of foods but that doesn't disqualify having rice or beans so next up nutritional all right you're looking for stuff that's fairly nutritional now i know some of this stuff in our everyday lives you would consider junk food what we're looking for is calorie dense food okay some food or how it's packaged may give you more bang per buck for calories than uh, others. And when your space is limited, your biggest problem is going to be building up a pantry. Where are you going to put all this stuff? That's something you got to think about. Are you going to take a corner of your bedroom and put up a storage rack and put your food on it? You'll probably have a lot more room than if you're going to stick it in an existing pantry that doesn't have that much room to begin with. Lastly, dietary restrictions. 
An emergency isn't always the time to be picky, you know, but it's okay to avoid foods that your family hates or are discouraged maybe by your faith or maybe somebody has a dietary problem with it, like say lactose intolerance or gluten allergy. You want to avoid those foods. So I'm going to move you around as we move around on the table here and show you what I picked up as best I could because there really wasn't much of a picking there from our local Dollar Tree. All right, I'm going to start on this side of the table. Of course, rice for a buck and a quarter. Picking up two pounds of rice, not bad. And again, this can be you know soaked for a while to reduce cooking time. You can boil this in a pan that you're already using. You can use the water for something else after you boiled your rice. So rice is a good staple. I would take it out of this bag and maybe stick it in a Mylar bag with an oxygen absorber or at least use a food saver and seal it up like we showed you yesterday. Next up, I picked up my two favorite spices, but Dollar Tree's got a ton of spices. Spices make stuff that's normally kind of blah, good. So I picked up garlic, salt, and onion powder. I'll probably be using this in the channel a lot when I make stuff when I cook. Okay, next up, coffee. If you're used to drinking coffee regularly, okay, I've got instant here, and I've got this stuff here. Be forewarned, this stuff is very strong. You don't need as much. But if you're used to drinking coffee, okay, instant coffee is good pretty much forever. I mean, they've, they've, there have been people that have found instant coffee 40, 50 years in, in an abandoned house and drank it, and it's fine. This stuff, again, you're going to need to heat stuff up. You're going to need to heat up your water for this, but maybe not as much as you would for this. Uh, but again, instant coffee, excellent choice. And regular coffee, too. And it's fairly inexpensive. Got some Vienna sausages here. I do like these, and you know, when I first made my very first um, Dollar Tree haul video, I mentioned that I like to cook these. Now, I don't mean like bake them in the oven for three hours. I mean, just stick them in a pan and brown them up. So that's how I do them. People thought I was nuts. Um, you don't want to not have a balanced diet, so you want to pick up some vegetables. I got some corn and some French cut green beans, always available. Uh, they did have a ton of vegetables, but not a lot of choice. It was like that, carrots, and, and corn, and that was it. And I'm not a big fan of carrots, so I kind of opted out of the carrots. Next up, this stuff here, Old English Spread. This is a, a sharp cheddar product. Now, the shelf life on this, if I can find it, I did notice something. The shelf life on this is good till the 2nd of July, 2023. So this is kind of approaching the end of its date. However, it's good for a good long time after that. I did notice when I picked it up, the shelf life was kind of close. The rest of this stuff is a good long time away, but I did want to show you this. Now, Dollar Tree used to sell these little baggies, kind of like this, full of cheese. Those are good too, they last a good long time. And while we got this in my hand, buffalo style chicken this is star kiss they make the tuna but they also make the chicken creations this stuff's really good and it's not too spicy if you can't do spices all right let's move over this way i'm going to start in the back from the furthest away here this stuff makes everything taste better taco sauce it is a mild taco sauce i prefer especially after my gallbladder surgery to be a little bit careful so i go with mild um, i can eat a lot of spicy stuff and it really not bother me but i just don't want to take the chance just yet so we got mild Another thing, too, you're going to need oil to cook your food with, right? Well, here you go. Soybean and virgin olive oil. Okay, it's a blend of both. You can get plain olive oil from them. I just picked this up because I know some people like soy, some people don't. So if you're trying to avoid it, you know what to avoid. And if you're looking for the regular virgin olive oil, they have that as well. Of course, the ever popular mini spam cans. These are their version of the Spam. Very, very good, really. They do have the old school opener. It's kind of cool. You take this and you bend it off and you stick that little hole there on here and you twist and you open it up that way. These are actually very good. They are smaller. But again, if you're just getting started, now you got some meat in your storage. Okay, boom, like that, that simple. Next up, taco seasoning. Again, if you're gonna be making stuff, um, if you have some beef and you want to cook it or anything else, even chicken, you can do that real easy and make that your taco seasoning. So it's good. It's cheap. Um, I will say something about it. I got it because there really wasn't much at the Dollar Tree. Honestly, Walmart has it cheaper. That was, I think they were 75 cents each. Not everything is a buck and a quarter. Sometimes it's a little less. Uh, Walmart has them 50 cents or 49 cents each if you buy the Walmart generic brand. Of course, beans. I love pinto beans. They're really good. You boil them up. Perfect. Make a nice meal. Uh, this stuff here. Don't be afraid of this stuff. This cooks fairly quick too. It's saffron yellow rice. I've actually made this a couple of times in the channel when I'm making other foods. And this is quite a good amount. This is a good serving for two to three people depending on how much rice you like. So definitely decent little stock up there. Let's move to the last section over on All this right. side. Macaroni and cheese, of course. Staple. 
got to have macaroni and cheese. Now, why do I prefer the powdered bran? Yes, it does need milk. Do I have powdered milk put away? I do. Can you use water? Yeah, but it won't taste that good. You can also use the condensed milk that you buy in cans. However, I couldn't find any in the store. So I do like this cheese. The stuff that comes with the cheese in the, in the metal tinfoil bag, that's good for about a year. And then that cheese gets so hard that it won't melt. And sometimes it even feels the same consistency in the bag, but you put it in with the noodles, it won't melt. It just sits there. You mix it around, it sits there, chop it up, same thing. So that's why I prefer these. I do have lots of powdered milk stored away, as well as condensed milk and things like that. Just something else for you to think about. Beef tamales, some people think these are nasty. I love them. I can eat these for a meal with that and some rice, and that's a meal for two people right there for, let's see, what, two fifty? dollars Can't beat it. Uh, lots of soups, but they didn't really have a big selection at my store. I did get the Campbell's chicken and rice because I know I like that. These guys here, um, these actually stay good really long. I know that's going to sound crazy. They actually stay better than the big boxes with the plastic bag inside. Um, they will stay fresher longer. I've had some of the cereal boxes go bad on me. Not bad, not like they're going to poison you or anything, just... They don't taste as good. They kind of taste stale. These will stay for a very, very good long time. So throwing a few of those in your preps, can't beat it. The pre-made rice. Now, this is definitely handy. This stretches your meats and your meals. I got a couple of them over here. I'll pull them over here and let you look at them. These are all pre-cooked, ready to go. Jasmine rice, okay? And these last a good long time. Trust me, I've eaten these like five years past their best buy date. The long grain rice. This is long grain white rice. And Spanish rice. That would work good with some taco seasoning, maybe some hamburger meat, whatever. Works really, really well. So those are definitely good items to grab as well. Last three things, of course. Idaho mashed potatoes. This says it serves eight. It's a buck and a quarter. You really can't beat that. I've seen them at Walmart for under a dollar. Last time I was at Walmart, they were $1.49. So they definitely have a better price in Dollar Tree. The North Sides. Now they just had rice. They used to have the noodles, the pastas, the everything. These are good if you can find them anywhere. Dollar Tree, again, my Dollar Tree was kind of lacking on it, but that's what I got. And lastly, this stuff here, this is fully cooked premium chicken salad. This stuff is really, really good. Makes a quick little sandwich, ready to eat. Again, we prefer these kind of foods that are ready to eat. Shelf life on it, let's see. Wow, okay. Uh, 19th of June, 2025. That's a pretty darn good shelf life. And, you know, I packed some of these up in little homemade MREs, these type of things like this and this, and they last a good long time. And the packaging holds up as well. I don't see the, let's see, yeah, again, used by August 5th, 2025. So this stuff has a good long shelf life to it. Uh, can't hurt to stock up on it. Again, eventually you want to get bigger stuff. You want to get more and more ingredients that you can make your own food. But if you're just getting started, that's a good way to go. So let's wrap up. Before we wrap up, there was one thing I did forget to mention. Batteries. These Panasonic batteries are actually pretty darn good. Yeah, they're NICADs. Yeah, you're going to have to keep an eye on them because they might leak. Um, no, they're not going to last as long as Duracells. But for a buck and a quarter can't beat it so if you do have some items now if you're new and you're just getting started maybe you bought a a lantern that needs four double a batteries well stock up on them they're a buck and a quarter you go to the store and you get four of these they're like six five five or six dollars now in walmart for the duracells you get a bunch of them you'll be good to go so that's kind of my take on this um i've had a lot better hauls from uh, my local dollar tree but my local dollar tree is seriously under cupboard there they really do not have a lot of food in that place i was really surprised now i will tell you that the frozen section their little frozen refrigerated section was pretty darn full and had a pretty nice selection but as far as the canned stuff and the stuff we think about for our pantry it was a little bit on the low side so that's what i got for you remember the rules you're looking for, long shelf life, easy to store, easy to prepare, nutritional and calorie dense, and follow your dietary restrictions as much as possible after a collapse of some kind when you're looking at your food storage. So I hope that helps out some of you new guys. Some of you guys have been prepping for a while. You may see something here and go, oh, wow, I didn't think of that. Maybe you go out and pick one up. Um, it is a good way to stock up on some of this stuff. Um, you know, again, if you buy in bulk, you're always going to save money, but sometimes it's not that much money. And if you're on a very tight budget, you can buy five or six of these 
for a buck and a quarter each and have a good amount of rice put away for an emergency. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out all our links down below. No, I don't have an affiliate link with Dollar Tree. I know what you're thinking out there. <laughs> but I do have an Amazon affiliate store. Don't forget to check that out. Even if there's nothing in the store you like, just click the link shop as you normally would. We really do appreciate when you do that. It helps us out a whole lot. Our freeze dried wholesalers link, that link will save you 15%. And yes, I know he's out of a lot of stuff. They're working on it 24 7 to get restocked. That should give you a little hint on how freaked out people are. He's never been run out before. Even during the pandemic, he wasn't getting run out of food. So definitely check up on your food with him and keep an eye on the site. When you see something, order it and get it. And use my link, you'll save 15% just by using that link when you get to the checkout. Below that is our My Patriot Supply link. We got a bunch of deals on there. They do have food. Okay, you can get a three month kit for $200 off. That's three month worth of freeze dried and dehydrated food ready for you in buckets to just stash away with some water and you're ready to go for at least three months. And below that is our Thrive Life freeze dried food store. Again, you don't need freeze dried food to be a survivalist or a prepper, but it certainly does help with the storage times. I thank you folks for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.